Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Bless Rata Adonai, the King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us and rose us with the words of Torah. Please Adonai, that he knew sweet the words of your Torah in our mouths and our mouths of all your people, Israel, may we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your tor Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Adonai. Who teaches Torah to his people Israel, blessed you, Donai, and you, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed you, Donai, give her the Torah. May Donai bless you and keep watch over you. May Donai make his presence true, and you may be kind to you. May Donai bless so favor on you and grant you peace. We have two reads today, which are going to be the last two reads of this week. Uh, which will be ending on Friday. So, uh, Romans 6, 9 through 23. We know that Hamashik being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died for sin, once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to Elohim. So you must also consider yourself dead to sin and alive to Elohim in Yeshua Hamashik. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, but make you obey its passions. Or sorry, to make you obey its passions. Do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourselves to Elohim as those who have been brought from death to life. But your members to uh, <clears throat> and your members to Elohim as instruments for righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. What then? Are we to sin because we are not under law, but under grace? By no means! Do not... Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to Elohim, that you, who were once slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to, stand, <coughs> to the standard of teaching to which you are committed, and have been set free from sin have become slaves of righteousness. I am speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations. For just as you once presented yourself, uh, you, uh, presented your members as slaves to impurity and to lawlessness leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness leading to sanctification. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free in regarding in regard to righteousness. But what fruit were you getting at that time from the things which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of Elohim, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end. Eternal life, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of Elohim is eternal life in Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord. Hebrews 13, 1 through 5 Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels. Unawareness. Remember those who are in prison, as though in prison with them, and those who are mistreated, since you also are in the body. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for Elohim will judge the sexual the sexually immoral and adulterous. Keep your life free from love and money. Love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I don't remember if I said what the first read was. It was Romans 6, 9 through 23. Uh, I hope you... Uh, whoop, before I sign off, uh, yeah. Blessed art thou, he knew king of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, give it a Torah, Brukat Adonai, and him, Lak Halom, Mashan and Tan Lanu, Trade Met Vaishalom, the Tabat, the Kinu, Brukat Adonai, and the Teen Ha Torah. Okay, now I can sign off. I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.